Now help me on this, Mike. You've got multiple teams there for basketball. How do you explain that to families? I'm sure most kids want to play on the main team, but you've got secondary teams. Talk to me about how that process works of putting who on what team and how that. that gets well, I got that from Deerfield as well. We at Deerfield, we had multiple teams and I think we had five basketball teams. At DME, we have 13 basketball teams and we, they pretty much play the same system. All of them. Now we have girls teams as well as boys teams, but mostly boys teams. We don't have the typical, you know, the local high school. They got 15 kids on the team. So you know what happens. You played ball. Dissension. I'm not playing. I feel inadequate. You know, when I'm 15, 14, 13, 12, and the coaches focused on winning. Our coaches are not focused on winning. Our coaches are focused on helping the kids perform and learn, reach potential. So when you have nine or 10 kids on a team and you're running a full court press the entire game, well, guess what happens? Everybody plays. Everybody has to play. You know, if there's any foul trouble or anything, everyone plays. But the, the, um, we have a national team that travels all over the world. We have a regional team that travels all over the um, East Coast, United States, Southeast. Then we have a um, three post-grad teams um, that do their fair share of travel as well, and they're playing about 40 games each. And then we have um, three high school teams, typical high school teams, um, blue, gold, and black. And then we have um, – two middle school teams as well, because we take sixth, seventh, and eighth graders um, from the local market. And so it's, a, it's, pre, it's pretty great. aggressive. Everyone is treated the same. You could be on the, what is considered to be the, the lowest team, you know, a middle school team, but you're treated the same as the national team. Um, same type of access to the gym, same quality of, of, of uniforms, equipment, and coaching. 